Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are good and safe at your places. Students, today in this video, we are going to learn addition, subtraction and multiplication. Okay, let's start the class. So students, in your previous class, you have done one digit and two digit addition, right? So let's revise it again. Students, here you can see the sign over here. This is called plus sign. Addition is den denoted by plus sign. Okay. Okay, students. What is addition? Addition means all together. The addition is taking two or more numbers and adding them together. This is your addition. Okay. So let's do one digit addition. One digit addition. Here we have only one column. Right? Here you have to add 5 plus 2. Tell me what is the sum? What will be the answer? Here, students, now you are in class second. So you will not draw lines. What will you do? Here you can see the greater number 5. So, students, you will keep the greater number in your head 5 and count on. 2, 5, 6, 7, 5 plus 2 is equal to 7, 7 is your answer or you can say sum, the sum of 5 plus 2 is equal to 7, ok students, next sum is 5 plus 0, ok students, as we all know, Zero means nothing, right? So, when you add zero to any numbers, okay, students, the answer will be the number itself. The sum will be the number itself, okay? That means five plus zero is equal to the number itself, that is five. So, the sum will be five. Five plus zero is equal to five, the number itself. So, right? 5. Okay students, next 2 digit addition. Here you have to add 2 digit number. Okay students, in our 1's place we have 4 and 2 and in our 10's place we have 3 and 1. So whenever you add, always adding numbers from the 1's digit. Okay students, now let's add 4 plus 2 is equal to, here you can see 4 is greater than 2. So, keep the greater number in your mind. 4, count on 5, 6, 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, alright, 6. Yes, now let's add tens column, 3 plus 4 is equal to, 3, 1, 4. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So, 34 plus 12 is equal to 46. Got it? So, students, on page number 14, you will do this work by yourself. Okay? I am doing the first part for you. So, here, see, you have to add 4 plus 2. Now add 4 plus 2, what will be the sum? Now keep the greater number 4 in your head, 4, count on 2, 4, 5, 6, that means 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, yes, alright, 6, 6 is the, 6 is the sum, 4 plus 2 is equal to now, so we have seven toy cars all together. Okay, students? The rest part you will do by yourself. Okay? Yes. Students, I am doing this part for you. Okay? Look here. Now you have to add 13 plus 42. Now let's add first one column. 
3 plus 2 is equal to let's keep 3 in your mind 3 count on 4 5 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 so write here 5 under 1's place very good next 1 plus 4 is equal to very simple 4 5 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 yes now 5 under 10 place so 13 plus 42 is equal to 55 okay students and students you will do this work by yourself okay Okay, students, now let's do some word problems. On page number 15, okay, here I'm doing the first part for you, okay? First part is, Sonu has four toy cards and Rahul gave him three more toy cards. How many toy cards does Sonu have? How many toy cards does Sonu have? Yes, four toy cards. Four toy cards. Okay. And Rahul gave him three more toy cards. Three. Okay, students. Now tell me how many toy cards does Sonu have all together? So we will add yes so we will add 4 plus 3 is equal to let's keep number 4 in your head 4 and count on 4 5 6 7 so 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 so right Seven. Now, so we have seven toy cars all together. Okay, students. The rest part you will do by yourself. Okay. Subtraction. Students, here you can see the sign over here. This is the minus sign. Subtraction is denoted by the sign. That this is minus sign. Okay. What is subtraction? Students. Subtraction means to take away a group or a number of things. And students, when we subtract the number of things in the group, reduce or become less. And students, you know, subtraction is just the opposite of addition. Okay. Now, let's do some examples. Okay. Now, let's do one digit subtraction. So, students, here you will subtract one digit number. Okay. Now, tell me. 5 minus 3, what will be the difference? Let's subtract. So, students, here we will use count on method. Okay? Here, 3 is smaller than 5. So, I'll keep the smaller number 3 in my head. 3. And count on to 5. Let's count on 3, 4, 5. Three minus five minus three. What will be the difference? Two. So right? Two. Three. Five minus three. The difference will be two. Okay, students. Here another example. We have six minus zero. As you all know, zero means nothing. Yes. So. When 0 is subtracted from any number, the answer is the number itself. Okay, students? That means 0 minus 6 minus 0, the answer will be the number itself. That is number 6. 6 minus 0, the difference will be 6. Okay, students? Yes. Now, let's subtract 2-digit number. Here, we have 2-digit numbers okay so let's subtract 75 minus 42 okay students yes students whenever you subtract 
always subtract from the ones digit. We have in our ones column 5 and 2. So let's subtract 5 minus 2. Here 2 is the smaller number. So I am keeping 2 in my head. 2. Now let's count on to 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. So 3 is a difference, right? 5 minus 2, the answer is 3. Very good. Now let's subtract the tens column 7 minus 4. What will be the difference? Now let's keep the smaller number 4 in head 4 and let's count to count on to 7. 4, 5, 6, 7, 3. 3 is the answer. 7 minus 4. The difference is 3. That means 75 minus 42 is equal to the difference will be the number 33. Okay, students. Students, I am doing this part for you. The rest of the part you will do by yourself. Okay. Now look here. We have. You have to subtract 43 minus 21. Okay. So let's subtract the ones place. That is 3 minus 1. Let's keep the smaller number in head 1. And count on 3. 2. 3. Okay. So the answer is 2. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Very good. Now, in 10th place, we have 4 minus 2. Keep 2 in your head. 2. Count on 4. 3, 4. 2 is the answer. 2. That means 43 minus 21 is equal to 22. So, what is the difference? The difference is 22. Okay, students? Do you understand? Yes. Students, on page number 16, here you have word problems. So, I am doing the first part. Okay. Rima had 9 chocolates. She gave 4 chocolates to her friends. How many chocolates are left with her? So, students, Rima had nine chocolates right nine chocolates and she gave four chocolates to her friends okay four. friends so how many chocolates are left with her so what will you do? We will do subtraction. Minus sign. Now tell me 9 minus 4. Now keep 4 in your head. 4 and count on 9. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 5 chocolates are left with her. Okay, students. Now come to the next question. Samira paused 25 eggs and 10 eggs were found broken. How many eggs are left? So tell me, students. Samira bought how many eggs? Yes, 25. And how many eggs were broken? Yes, 10. So, what will you do now? So, how many eggs are left? Now, here we will do subtraction. Okay? Because 10 eggs were found broken. Okay? Total eggs were 25. So, 
Let's subtract 25 minus 10. 5 minus 0. The answer will be the number itself. itself. That is 5. So write 5. Now come to the tens place. 2 minus 1. Is equal to 1. So 15x were left with some item. Okay, students. 15x are left. Okay. Multiplication. Students, multiply means to add equal groups. When we multiply, the number of things in group increases. Okay? That means multiplication is also a repeated addition. Right? And students, you have learned table of 2, 3, 4 and 5. Right? So, let's recall tables. Okay. Now, let's recall table of 2 and 3. And students, you have to repeat after me. Okay? So, let's start. Say Two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six, two fours are eight, two fives are ten, two six are twelve, two sevens are fourteen, two eights are sixteen, two nines are eighteen, two tens are twenty. Now table of three. Say three ones are three. 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15, 3 6s are 18, 3 7s are 21, 3 8s are 24, 3 9s are 27, 3 10s are 30. Okay, now table of 4 and 5. Table of 4. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Four threes are twelve. Four fours are sixteen. Four fives are twenty. Four six are twenty-four. Four sevens are twenty-eight. Four eights are thirty-two. Four nines are thirty-six. Four tens are forty. Now table of five. Five ones are five. 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15, 5 fours are 20, 5 fives are 25, 5 six are 30, 5 sevens are 35, 5 eights are 40, 5 nines are 45, 5 tens are 50. Okay, now let's do some examples. Here you have to multiply. 4 multiply by 2 and 7 multiply by 5. Okay, let's do the first one. So students, here you have to multiply by 2. So here we will recite table of 2. Okay, now recite with me. 2 1s are 2. 2 2s are 4. 2 3s are 6. 2 4s are 8. 2 4s are 8. So write eight. Four multiply by two is equal to eight. Very good. Come to the next one. Here you have to multiply seven multiply by five. Here let's recite table of five till seven. Okay. Five ones are five. Five twos are ten. Five threes are fifteen. Five fours are twenty. 5 fives are 25, 5 six are 30, 5 sevens are 35. Yes, so right? 35. 7 multiplied by 5 is equal to 35. Yes, very good. So, students, that's all for today. I hope you understand the concept of addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Till then, keep practicing, stay safe. Stay home. Thank you.